Hi guys, welcome back to one more video. Recently, we upgraded our Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 3D printer with interesting Panda accessories from BQ and Big Tree Tech. So today they have sent us one more interesting product called Panda Status. So in this video, let's unbox and try to explore this product. Apart from this, they also have other wide range of accessories for different printers. You can select your respective printer model in their website and get the list of all the supported accessories. So make sure to check out their website from the link in the description box. This is the box. This device can be used with A1, X1 and P1 series. Inside, we get a connector, Type-C cable, a controller board, a cleaning cloth, some 3mm tapes, and this is the Panda LED status bar. It's a customizable RGB LED strip which gives the real-time print progress and error alerts of your printer in different colors. So if you have a multiple printers in your room, then this device can be very useful to get the status of each and every printer at a single glance. Along with the light, we get this controller board with ESP32 chip, which allows for wireless configuration. This also has a built-in microphone for rhythm light sync. And it uses Type-C port for power supply. To assemble, connect the LED strip to the controller board using this connector cable and Type-C cable to the power adapter. For A1 Mini, in my case, I'll just keep this LED status bar on the table. But if you have other models, you can check out their official website for complete details on the installation guide. Once we turn on the device, we get the blue floating light, which indicates the Panda status is not binded to the printer. So first, Connect your printer to the Wi-Fi network. Turn on Wi-Fi on your computer or smartphone. Connect to Panda status hotspot using this password and sign into the network. Here, select the language and click on next. Scan for Wi-Fi and in the drop-down, select the same Wi-Fi which is connected to the 3D printer. Input the password and click on connect. Once the Wi-Fi connection is successful, the LEDs turn into yellow. Click on binding option. Again, scan for the printer. And from the drop down, select your 3D printer and few details automatically gets filled. To get the access code, go to settings and LAN only mode and input the same access code in this field and click on bind. Once the device is successfully binded with the printer, you can go to control panel and here you can set the colors you want for different states like idle, print and error. For rest of the intermediate states, the device already comes with configured predefined colors. And there is also option to control the brightness of the LEDs. This device also comes with one more interesting and cool feature 
in the light effect if you select music instead of h2d the led start reacting to the noise in the background or the music now i'll just give it for a small print to see how this device shows the print progress So this is all about the Panda status installation and usage. If you are into 3D printing, you should definitely check this product out. I'll leave the product link in the description. And for more interesting videos, stay tuned and subscribe.